Well, have you seen the pockets of tree webs around town? Many of you have. What exactly are those? Storm Team 10's Joseph Danes has more on the creepy crawling insects that are constructing them. Take a look. That doesn't look like Charlotte's web or that corner bedroom spider haven. These tree webs are actually referred to as tents, which is one third of the answer of what is constructing those intricate webs. But don't expect some massive tarantula to come toppling out of this white wickered web instead. So this is the eastern tent caterpillar. You know it because it has a long stripe down its back with little blue spots. In the spring, just about the time that the leaves start to come out, um, the newly hatched caterpillars will come out of these egg masses and they will congregate and they will form these little tents. So why now and why so many? So often tent caterpillars like the eastern tent caterpillar uh, will see outbreaks um, on a cyclical pattern roughly about every 10 years or so. And they have a sweet tooth. They tend to forge on wild black cherry trees which has left the trees looking exposed and the tents even larger. As they start to grow and start to forage, the tent will become larger and larger and larger, which is one of the hallmarks of the eastern tent caterpillar. But biologists say it's nothing to worry about. And as you can see, they almost totally uh, defoliate this tree. But sometime around June or July, unless this tree here is diseased, the tree will refoliate and have new fresh leaves. And they don't pose a threat for you either. In Sarah Hope from Storm Team 10 with photojournalist Cody Murphy, I'm Joseph Dames. And biologists say they do get confused with other common caterpillars, such as forest tent caterpillars and even silkworm caterpillars. But the ones around the Wabash Valley you're seeing are simply eastern tent caterpillars.